Bernoulli's principle basically um, means two things. Something that Mr. Bernoulli figured out way back that kind of explains how planes fly. So first of all, he found that faster air has lower pressure. And he also found that objects like to move to lower pressure areas. So those are basically the two things that make up Bernoulli's principle. If we take a look at um, an airplane, so let's say we had a plane that looks like this. There's the wings, there's the tail. I'm not a good drawer, but that's okay. Um, if we took a cross section of this wing right here, we sliced it and we were looking on it this way, you would see that it looks kind of like this. It has a bit of a flattish area on the bottom and the front of it looks more like that. So it's kind of got a curved top and a flatter bottom and the plane is moving in this direction. So um, the same way that this plane is moving, that's the way this wing is moving as well. So this is like a cross section. We've cut it here and we're looking at the wing this way. Um, the air as the plane is moving is basically going towards it that way. And as the air goes over the wing and under the wing, you'll notice that it has more distance to cover on the curved end of the wind, wing than it does on the bottom end of the wing. So basically the air moves slower along the bottom and because it has more distance to travel on the top, it actually has to move faster across the top. So this is fast moving air and this is slow moving air. The faster moving air actually has lower pressure and the slower moving air actually has higher pressure. And Bernoulli found that things like to move to areas of low pressure. So as this plane is flying along and there's lower pressure above the wing, what actually happens is you end up having the wing move up and it provides lift to the plane. So as the um, plane is moving, and we'll talk about the other forces on the plane in a minute, but um, as the plane is moving, you actually have faster moving air on top, slower moving air on the bottom. The plane moves to where the lower pressure is, where the faster air is, it actually causes the plane to rise up. When you are on a plane, you will notice as you're on the runway, the pilot makes the plane move very, very fast. And as the air starts to move over the wings, it actually ends up causing the plane to lift off of the ground. Now there are other forces that the pilot needs to think about as well. We'll talk about those in a second. You'll also notice when you're flying, if you ever get to sit by the wing, there's all kinds of little levers and things that kind of flip up on these wings. And the pilot is able to maneuver these flaps to change the way the air moves over the wing. So if the, if the pilot wants to slow the plane down, he can flip some flaps up off the top which causes more drag, which we're gonna talk about in a second. Um, if the pilot wants to uh, make the plane go up further and create more lift, then he makes the wing nice and smooth so that nothing, so the air has a nice smooth surface to, to move over. So if you ever get to sit on the wing of the plane, watch, especially as the plane is taking off, the plane is descending, the plane is landing, the pilot is doing all kinds of things with these um, flaps that are on the, the back end of the wings. <laughs> 